What's up, what's up, buddy? <laughs> what's up, everybody? New Joker Six here, and today we're going to take a look at the Orthos Prime. Now, this is not the default appearance of it. Um, this is a Tenno Gen skin. So, if we just hop over here, this is what the Orthos Prime normally looks like. Right there. So, in case you guys were wondering, there you go. <laughs> But I'm going to go ahead and jump on over. I really enjoy this Tenno Gen skin. And I like using this one whenever whenever I do use my Orthos, which isn't too often. Now, the Orthos is of a different breed, I guess you could say. Because this is a KPS weapon, not a DPS. So it's more so on getting kills per second. Uh, rather than the damage that it outputs every second. So let's just take a look. Prime Pressure Point, Prime Fury, Prime Breach, Berserker, Shocking Touch, Prime Fever Strike, Blood Rush, and Condition Overload. And we're go using Twirling Spire. You can use other stances, of course, but this is the stance that I personally both enjoy and would recommend for this weapon. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Now, normally we do like one weapon, but since this is a KPS weapon, we're going to spawn a couple of them in here. And we'll do the usual with and without bonuses. So this, of course, will be without. You see this as everything starts building up. And just, just like look... The range on this weapon on its own. Like, look at this. Of course, this weapon is meant to be attacking, like, large groups. And rather than just a one-on-one -on -one enemy. And you can take advantage of this, which I can show you a little trick that you can do. Uh, with something like Hydroid, possibly Oberon, since Oberon can knock enemies over. Um, but we'll go ahead and show you a damage buff version. So the more enemies that you're able to hit at one time, the quicker you're going to build that combo up and the quicker you're going to be able to get that damage up. So it is one of those weapons that does take a second or two to get going. But of course, if you're in like a survival or something, then you're probably just going to keep that multiplier up the entire time unless you swap, sw yeah, swap weapons for whatever reason. Um, but I'll show you guys one little tip that you can use with. And this works for all melee weapons. But this is really useful for uh, a melee weapon like this where it has a lot of range to just go for a big group at once. So what we're going to do, we're just going to drop down, knock everyone down. And that's just going to give that, that little tip. It's going to give you a small damage boost. But what else you could do is you can drop down with Hydroid. Wait, what? Oh, I hit the wrong button. My mistake. And we just drop that down. Once that's dropping down, we just pop up. And look at it. Look at that. Now, these two over here, we uh, worked on a little before. Um, but that's just something that you could do for Hydra. You can just kind of drop into your puddle, knock them off their feet, which will get you... A bit of a bonus to your damage. And then drop down your Corroding Barrage from our Hydroid build before. Pop up and then just shred everything like it's nothing. So if you have like hard enemies that you're having a problem with. Or something. That's something that you could do if you are playing as a Hydroid. I'm not sure why I have this sign done on but... <laughs> Yeah, so there you have it. There it is, without a buff, with a buff, and just a little tip for any of you guys out there that play Hydroid. Now, that'll work for a lot of pole arms. Like I said, the main thing is going for that range, because unless you have all enemies that like cluttered in one specific spot, mm, you might have a, you might not be able to get rid of them as quick, but anyway, and there you go. There you have it. There's the build one more time. Take care, have yourselves a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.